Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And it's rainy today, so there's not much to do, but I am gonna show you guys this. If you're following me on Instagram, you know I am doing the Valente giveaway. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mikey has recently really turned into the Naruto fan himself, and I'm really excited that Mikey uh, is finally seeing Naruto Shampoonin, but I'm gonna show you guys this. I don't even know if Valente is, I know the steering wheel's not out yet. I don't know if I'm allowed to show it or not, but I normally do this anyway, so I'm going to show you guys a sneak peek. Look at Volante's newest um, Naruto edition steering wheel. This thing's so sick. And I just wanted to show you guys this. Look at how cool this steering wheel is. They have made a couple of different Naruto steering wheels. This is another one right here. This one's been out. Uh, we're going to do some whoa, cool bro, stuff with whoa, this. Whoa, this is the Akatsuki. Well, I think I think yeah. I'll, this one's all over TikTok and stuff. You're right. That one's pretty cool. That's the Akatsuki here, but they recently made this one. Yeah, they're going to release this, I believe, next week, and it's uh the Itachi one. That's pretty yeah. cool. So to kill me, uh, you must hate me. That's pretty cool. That's you cool. have the front, and then if you the flip it around, around, yeah, you have you have the eyes in gray. That's pretty cool. What do you guys think? Thumbs up, a thumbs down on the steering wheel. Hey. Oh, there goes Mikey. Sorry, Volante steering wheel is gone. Sheesh! Since you guys are looking at all these cool Volante steering wheels, the giveaway ends this Friday. You guys are still at an advantage. You guys can still enter, but me and Volante are gonna collab now. Um, I met up with Volante today. We are gonna come out with my own special edition steering wheel. It's gonna be super custom. There's only gonna be probably like 200 units of these made. So I'm really excited to show you later down the line what we come up with. You know, I got a little excited last night and I just started vlogging the Volantis team but today we're gonna actually working on the RSX. I really wanna get this problem figure out that we're having with the RSX. So since the battery is completely drained on the RSX today, again, we're gonna take it out, we're gonna drop it off at O'Reilly's, have it recharge, we're gonna hit the gym because we gotta stay in shape and then we're gonna take the RSX to Honda Pro. Hopefully they can figure out what the problem is and we don't break the budget build bank. car is on hopefully we have zero issues taking the car over to honda pro right now let's hope that something finally goes right we just pulled up to honda pro where they originally threw the k24 swap into the rsx um i trust these guys a lot when it comes to hondas um so we brought it here and right away he asked me if i checked the alternator fuse which i did not i swear to god if it's the alternator fuse i'm gonna be pretty mad it's gonna be some dummy points but hopefully it is just that and we have the problem solved right now so we haven't quite found the problem yet, but so far we are on three blown fuses, including the ABS. So what else will we find on this adventure of Polly's effed up world? Your, your lighter didn't yeah, work. Yeah, that, that, that one doesn't work. Yeah, it works probably work. Oh, it'll probably work now. Yeah. Damn, nice. We did have an alternator fuse blown. Hopefully we can get rid of the problem right What's now. Like, bite the water? Damn, if we just... Yeah, <laughs> it's going bad, right? It's going bad. O'Reilly's AutoZone, I'm calling you guys out right now. I took it to a bunch of your stores and you guys all said it was good. I knew it. Now I have to take apart the whole front end again just to take that alternator out. Oh, dude, no, Honda Pro. Guys, you guys literally never listen to me. I tell you guys to go to Best Hire Shop. You guys never go to Best Hire Shop. I tell you guys to come to Honda Pro. You guys never come to Honda Pro. It literally. That was running. Look at this. We got the situation all figured out within. 20 minutes thank you junior yeah. junior thank you so much Buddy, yeah bro they just pulled together so i know a lot of you guys were asking what it was um because you guys didn't know what the codes were were so basically the crankshaft sensor code that it threw out you just changed the crankshaft sensor it said the eld was bad so i changed that which was under here um but the one thing i didn't do and i messed up i didn't check for any fuses and that's that was my fault i was already pissed and annoyed that I couldn't get it figured out, but the fuses were blown. Plus 25 on Honda Pro. Dude, I just wanna say one more big shout out. Thank you guys so much. Honda Pro. We can't end the vlog right here though. We got everything figured out on the Honda, on the Acura. So this, <laughs> this is finally running good, nice and safe. Um, So we have 
we have something installed today. We have something installed on the RSX today. I've been waiting, um, and I was going to make it uh, for a different vlog, but Honda Pro killed it. We didn't hit any of the budget build money that we had, so we're, we're still good to go. We're on track for everything. So let's get home and install the new surprise part today. Before I show you guys these parts, I do want to shout out Junior from DC5 Society. He hooked us up with these parts for such an amazing price for the budget build. And let me just show you guys what we got. Bam! A look at these side skirts. And if you guys don't know, these are Mugen side skirts. They're so beautiful. They're so pretty. He had an extra pair and he was like, dude, I don't use them. Do you want them? I know that you are building a Mugen RSX. And if I can help you build it, I'm willing to give you these at a super good price. So you actually gave them to me for 80 bucks, guys. That's fucking crazy. But if you guys didn't know or don't know what a Mugen RSX looks like, I'm going to show you guys right now. Tell me that doesn't look pretty, dude. That is literally my plan with the RSX. But let me give you a before shot of how the RSX looks. And now that you kind of saw the way it looks, let's install the side skirts and then we'll see how it looks afterwards. But I think it's going to look really good, especially with the color and everything that I have in mind for the RSX. All right, the one thing I'm really preying on is that we don't have to do a lot of modification to these side skirts. They are fiberglass, so normally when you're installing fiberglass, there's like a lot of stuff you have to do to it. But I'm praying that there isn't. This is actually the first time I ever install like side skirts or anything and they don't need like any kind of modification these literally fit right up dude the fitment on the driver's side is just so much nicer than the fitment on the passenger side but it's always like that when you're selling any part one side always fits a hundred percent different than the other side so um yeah everything is ready all the holes are made so we're just gonna wake up tomorrow morning early go to ace hardware pick up the bolts and then come back and finish this install and we are back let me put you guys on a little something all right i don't know if a lot of people use these because i don't really see a lot of people use these but i do and they work really well these are locking nuts um and basically let me see if i get this to focus basically when you put these on your bolt this little white rubber piece keeps everything locked down so they'll never fly off i use these on literally all of my parts to make sure everything is nice and secured in there so if i were you guys whenever you're out buying bolts or whatever get locking nuts to make sure your parts don't fly off either and just like that guys we are done with today's install look at the way these side screws look I'm so in love with them. Stitch, what do you think? You're coming over here. I know you like to be in the vlogs. What do you think, man, huh? Do you like the new side skirts? What about you guys? What do you guys think? If you guys like the way these side skirts look, give this video a big thumbs up. My God. I am so in love with how this looks. Literally, guys, we are two things away from being able to take this car to paint. All we need is the front lip, the rear lip, and this car is 100% ready for paint. And then I'm gonna show you guys how and the best place to get a paint job for under $1,000. This is a budget build video, so we can't end it off without tapping into our budget. We had $2,456 left. The side skirts were 80 bucks. Shout out to DC5 Society again, leaving our grand total of $2,376 left on this budget build, which honestly, guys, that is a lot of money for just a couple little things that we need left to at least make this car show worthy from there we'll see how much is left and then what we can tap into like performance wise or maybe like little accessories here and there but as always i appreciate you guys so much so happy the car is back till next time i wish you guys nothing but positivity and good energy peace Whoop.